doing the new Pixel Pros. Um, it's my first um, proper shoot, well, proper shoot and test shoot together because I've not actually used them out. And I've not tested them out at all, so we're going to give this a go. Simple buttons, we've got a nice big on button, we've got a test button, we have our A, B and C's, uh, we have our camera on our lens, it doesn't matter what camera or what lens, It's th but this does for real because this is for Nikon, so you have to have a Nikon camera don't have to have a Nikon lens basically so we're gonna go live on and it all comes on it's currently set in ITTL 00, zero evaluation EV uh, B and C channels are off that's the flash channel um, to actually change the flash to uh, high sync you have to make sure you've got it set in your camera at the back in the menu button to high sync the camera is actually off at the moment but we press this button here and you see that actually changes to a couple of hours that's your high sync that's normal flash that normal flash will work in um, your flash camera modes as you can see I'm on aperture priority there 320 f8 it's all over the place the Sun has actually come out today which makes a change this is gonna be a bit difficult this way around I'm not used to press the flash button and we can change our wrong one as I said it was difficult we can change our flash settings which are down here to rear uh, I, I think we don't we miss out on second curtain we get rear we miss out on second curtain for some strange reason but that's probably some weird thing because Nikon flashes are a bit more complicated than the other ones I'm not too sure about Sony but Canon ones they seem to do quite easy camera strap around the neck is that's what it is it's a camera strap for the neck and it's nice and stretchy there's a lot more you can do with this if we press the set button and then we press A we have to press the A B or C whichever channel we don't doing and we can change plus and minus the EV on it on the TTL go OK for that press again press A and we're back up we're on to manual now so I'm at 132 there and that's for our ratios on A and B if I had two flashes and I'll try and get out of that which I may or may not I think I've got to press it yeah I just keep continually pressing so I want to go back to TTL so another press and we're back there press A's off A's on and it automatically defaults back to TTL so the channel button is here it's in channel 1 the receiver over there is in channel 1 um, there's not too much more I can actually say about that except we will actually take some pictures of the person that's holding the camera and she's rather pretty Shh. and we come over here on um, this one here the receiver We've got our A, B and C channel. We've also got a test button as well, which I haven't worked out why <laughs> you need one there. We've got our auto channel three, two and one. It's on channel one. We shall switch the camera on because we're supposed to do it from top to bottom. So that is now on and we switch that. The flash did actually fire, so it's talking. Uh, this is gonna be a bit difficult to see, but we have it on TTR FP it must be on a TTR channel regardless of what it says on the back here or what you put in the camera here because you can use aperture shutter P mode or manual you can use any of those but the mode must be any one of the uh, you can't use any of these you can use we get that we can use that one or we can use that one and we're going to use that one so that's TTL balanced fast and ISO is auto which I haven't even worked out my ISO it's up 800 I'll bring that down I've just taken my on the camera my ISO down to 200 and you can see it's gone down to 200 so if, it, if she stays there I said take that up to 400 640 and as you can see it's changing and down to 200 again it's changed 
this is on as I say TTL it's on F8 aperture priority I shall change and we can see the aperture is changing 3535 and you can see the distance scale or ladder changing as well so this is going to go at F8 I'm going to try at F8 and I'm going to go down to 2.8 and we're going to see the results for that this flash now is going to go underneath this leaf it's not been tested we've got the sun as you can see screeching at my face here it's going to go roughly that high it's set at 24 mil you can change the uh, zoom on here as well um, I forgot where the zoom button is but I'll probably find it later on when I want to change it um, we're going to do a little shoot with Blessing who's holding the camera and doing quite well so I shall see you well I won't see you there because that was two years ago but I shall see you the other side this side of the camera and you'll see her right after this